to my channel today i'm vlogging i'm doing a day in the life i just went and picked up some breakfast i got an iced vanilla oat milk latte from this little cafe nearby i'm in jersey right now because i'm about to go get my hair done i'm going to get hair extensions i'm so excited i'm getting k-tip extensions hopefully i have better luck with these ones because i fucking hate tapins i hate tapin extensions so bad i got them one time if you guys aren't new here and you've been on my channel for a while then you remember when i got tapin extensions so usually with tapin extensions you get them up moved up every two months and you can reuse the hair i had them for two months and i literally fucking took them out i didn't care about reusing the hair it was such a waste of fucking money it was such a waste of money i literally didn't care I was like, I want these out of my head now. It was weighing my hair down. I couldn't do anything with my hair. You could see the tracks. It just like wasn't enjoyable. But this girl I met at the club actually, <laughs> like out and about, does hair extensions. And she was showing me that like you can't even see. She had her hair up. And I was like, you know what? And you can't see the tracks because they're so tiny. They're like hooked to like a tiny piece like this. And I'm like, you know, that's something that I feel like I could work with because the tape and extensions are just way too high maintenance can't even brush your hair you can barely wash your hair it's just oh my god it's like so much maintenance for the amount of money that you're paying so i decided that i'm gonna get k-tips so that's what i'm getting today hopefully they look super great i'm getting 18 inch the last time i got hair extensions i got 22 inch or 20 inch no i got 22 inch extensions they were just honestly too long too I was like, go big or go home. And they were just too long. It was like, just like drowning my face out and just like pulling my hair down. It just like made me look like bland, like very bland. There was nothing to my hair. And the whole point of getting extensions was to add something to my hair. I also just like couldn't do anything with my hair. So I'm excited to see what I can do with these K-tips. So these ones are different. These I can wear for four months and then I get them moved up and have to order new hair. So we'll see how I like them because they're gonna be in my head for four months. But I'm excited. This is my hair before. It's not horrible. I don't hate my hair. It's just annoying. My hair is annoying. It's thin. Um, I got my hair done by a different person than my regular hairstylist one time and she literally fucked my hair and burnt it and now it won't grow past now it won't go grow past this length and i just want it a little bit longer with more volume i just feel like look like i love doing this little half up half down moment but then i have literally no hair to to put right here like if you see my ponytail like i literally only take hair here i can't like fully do half my head it's literally only half the front two pieces so i just want like something more full and all of that so that's what we're gonna do today i'm actually gonna head there now but i did get a coffee i got a bagel i'm gonna eat this while she does my hair because it's like four hours long and yeah we're gonna continue the day today i'm working in new york city so i'm gonna show you guys Alrighty, i just got home my hair looks amazing. It looks so freaking good, I'm obsessed. Okay, it literally can't get better than this. I think it's the perfect length. It blends so well and look like they're like little K-tips you can barely even see. So when they start to grow out and stuff, you won't really be able to see like the tracks and whatnot. I'm, I'm literally so in love with them. And I'm gonna share the price with you guys just so you guys kind of have an idea. I got, obviously it depends on like how much hair you have, how big your head is, uh, the length of extensions you get, like how many packs you need. I don't know how many, I think I got five packs and I have 18 inch extensions. One second, running out of storage. Okay, so I got 18, 18 inch extensions. I think I got like five packs and it costed $1,590, fucking insane, I know. I literally wanted to shit myself when I found out the price as well too, but it's good for four months, so really it's like $500 a month, which is still 
ridiculous for hair but it doesn't like seem as bad when you break it down like that but I don't care literally I don't care I will pay top dollar for anything that just like boosts my appearance and my confidence and everything like that so I don't really care but anyway we're gonna make that money back tonight hopefully we're gonna try anyway went back I stopped at GNC as you guys saw and I picked up two things the guy was literally selling me he sold me so hard so I wanted to go and get some protein because I haven't had protein in a while but I wanted to get mass gainer because I want to get thicker and I feel like I just don't eat enough throughout the day so I got so there was like a deal with these things and we were kind of going over everything he was telling me what proteins are better without all the fillers in it won't make you gain like fat and stuff um so i went with this one and this one i went with because he told me that this one has like whole protein so there's like pea protein brown rice protein chicken protein salmon protein like better protein like this is whole protein instead of just like milk protein um, so it's this brand, MRE, meal replacement, and I got the flavor banana bread, and yeah, a serving size is four scoops, that's insane. Obviously you make like two shakes a day, I think I might do half the serving size, but this one's like not that much, so I might just do one serving size, to be honest. Um, I want to smell it though, so I'm going to open it. Okay, and then the deal was that if you bought this thing, you could get any protein for free. So he said that this supports fat loss and just like helps break down stubborn fat and shit like this. Honestly, when I see these things, I just don't believe them and I think that they're a scam, but they, technically they were free or the protein was free. So I was like, you know what? Fuck, I'll try that. And we'll see what it does with the two of these, but I want to smell this. Okay, fuck that. I'm not gonna smell it, but it's banana nut bread, and I'm excited to see what that's all about. And then I also just ordered some lunch that I'm gonna eat right now. I'm starving. I ordered, I ordered chicken summer rolls, and then I ordered beef noodle soup, or it's like beef, it's like beef stew, but it's faux. And I know it's hot as shit outside. I don't know why I ordered it, but it just sounded so good, and I. I need to eat it. But I'm gonna eat my lunch, chill for a little bit. I think I'm gonna take a nap because I'm so freaking tired. I literally ran over a curb because I didn't see it because I'm that tired. I have literally been sleep deprived because I've been working so much. Like I have like a little side job, then I have my YouTube, and then I have dancing. And it's just like all the times like my side job is so early in the morning and then my dancing is like till like 4 a.m. and I, I'm just like getting no sleep. So I need to take a nap before I go work today, but. Okay, so I just woke up from my nap. I am gonna get ready right now. I started recording the other day. I didn't really do much, so I ended up just like scratching the vlog and I was like, you know, I'm just gonna start over. Um, but I did this whole part of me getting ready and answering some questions and honestly, I'm not about to answer them again. So I'm just gonna insert that footage here of me getting ready because I pretty much do the same makeup anyway and I'm not going through it, but it's just a different day but we're gonna continue the vlog on today. But you guys are gonna see me getting ready from the other day, if that makes sense. But I do the same makeup every night. And I just wanted to put those questions that I answered in this video again. But I didn't wanna answer them again because honestly, I do not have the energy to do that right now. So I'm gonna get ready. You guys will see, doing the same thing. You guys will answer the questions and then we're gonna be on our way to New York. And I'm bringing a different dress because I brought two dresses the last time and I couldn't wear either of them. Or no, I brought, I brought two outfits. I couldn't wear either of them. Apparently you can't wear see-through dresses to this club, to a strip club. Makes sense, right? So I bought one there, which actually I'll just show you guys right now. I'm, I'm just like wasting time. Okay, so my room is a fucking mess and I do not want you to see it. So I bought this dress there to audition because they had dresses that you could borrow and they were the ugliest fucking dresses I've ever seen in my entire life. And I was like, you cannot expect me to get hired in one of these. Literally looked like Charlotte Russe dresses. No, Debs. Do you guys remember Deb? A Deb dress. 
a Deb homecoming dress. And I was like, you expect me to wear this to audition? I think the fuck not. So I spent $80 on this dress, which I'll insert a video of me wearing. I might wear this tonight. We'll see. But I think what I'm gonna do is wear this dress and just like unbutton it a little bit more because a lot of the girls were wearing dresses kind of like this. So I think I might do this little number instead, but we'll see. I feel like the orange makes me like pop out and like stand out. So I might do that dress instead still, but I'll bring this just in case because I'm not sure what I want to wear. But I'm gonna get ready and then we're gonna head to New York. Today I'm going to New York City to go work. Um, so I'm getting ready right now to head out. I've been working in New York City a lot lately just because I haven't really had the motivation to go into my club here. And once I go to like New York City to go work, I actually just like have no other option but to work. Um, so I just feel like more motivated to go. Now it, financially it's not the smartest move, but I think I just need to find a better club because the club that I've been working at in New York City for a little bit just is so hit or miss. Um, I think it's just the summer too. The summer just has not been that good. So what I'm gonna do is Go try out another club today. This one I haven't tried out before. I've tried their other club. They have um, three locations. I tried one of their other locations. So I'm gonna try a new location today. If I don't get hired, I'll go to the other one, try that one. If not, if I don't get hired at any of them, I'll go back to my other club. I don't think I should have an issue. I worked at the one location and I was hired, but you have to rehire if like you haven't worked there for the past like three months, 90 days. So I have to re-audition every time I go pretty much. So that's the deal. That's what I'm gonna have to do. Um, also, I get questions all the time. I get questions all the time about what clubs I work at, what are good club suggestions, and for like security reasons and shit like that, I don't really like to specify where I work because obvious reasons, you know, like you can get robbed and shit. So um, I'm not about to be like set up, you know, I don't, I mean, you know what I mean? I don't know any of you personally. So I don't know enough information to like be telling you where I work or you know trusting that you're not gonna like set me up to like come find me after the club and rob me because you see like what car i drive or what bag i'm carrying or you know it's just for safety reasons i feel like you guys should understand that it's pretty self-explanatory but yeah i don't know my biggest advice for looking for clubs is just looking up best gentlemen's clubs around me and then also there is an app called the dancers resource or no Wait, is it the dancers resource let me show you. So it's just, yeah, the Dancers Resource. It's an app called the Dancers Resource, and it has all of these clubs that you can go look in. So you can look in the United States, and you look per state, per county, and it has all the clubs on there rated with reviews of like how the club is, how the money is, management, you know, what you're gonna be looking for for like house fees and stuff like that. I'm not sponsored by the app or anything. That is just like what I've used to look at clubs and reviews, and then also just. I usually just search best gentlemen's clubs near me. So that's the best advice I can give you. I get DMs all the time and honestly, I just don't answer them because I feel like I'm being rude, like not telling you, but I swear I'm not gatekeeping the clubs that I work at. I've actually met like a ton of subscribers that work at some of the clubs that I work at. So I'm not like gatekeeping it. It's just more of like, I don't want you to come like to, but I think I want to answer some questions that some of you, actually some girl left all these questions, so I'm going to answer some of these, and then, so I'm going to answer some of these while I get ready. They're not stripper related, they're just personal related, so, yeah, I don't know. If you guys are interested, then you will pay attention, I don't really care. Okay, this girl actually asked some very fun questions. You need to get down. Um, she said, she literally asked so many. So the first question is, how many days a week do you work out? So it really depends. Honestly, like I don't 
like plan out my week like oh I need to work this many days a week I usually try to do at least three um, but I won't hate myself if I only do like two but definitely at least two per week um, lately I've been really lazy with working out but I've still been getting in my uh, three a week which I think is like pretty good she said what is my go-to alcohol beverage my go-to alcohol is so fucking boring honestly my go-to alcohol beverage is tequila I like Don Julio Blanco um, with club soda and lime like there has to be the lime like I don't understand why these waitresses think that when I ask for the lime that I'm just like fucking saying it for for fun like bitch no like you think I'm really gonna sit here and drink fucking tequila and water with no nothing in it I do that because it's just like the healthiest drink but also for wine I like white wine and I prefer Sauvignon Blanc that's like my favorite type so if I were to get, a, get if I were to get a glass of wine it would be Sauvignon Blanc okay she said these questions are so random <laughs> so it's just kind of getting to know me a little bit but um she asked like what my favorite thing to cook is and honestly it changes all the time but I hyper fixate on certain things and then eat them like every single day through the week so before I used to cook this soup well this is like a fall thing it's called Zupa Toscana and I would make it with gnocchi instead of potatoes and it was so good um and then recently literally like this past year i've been obsessed with making chicken cutlets like i literally will make an entire thing of chicken cutlets and just eat them throughout the week because they're so good then i was asked if i'm like an intuitive person like if i think that i can read people really easily and i say yes i say actually you know what fucking no i feel like yes and no actually i feel like most of the time, like, I give a lot of trust into people and I really, like, because, I don't know, from, I compare everybody to me and I expect everybody to be kind of the same as me. So I feel like, in a way, like, I read people the wrong way because I expect, you know, when someone says, like, something or does something to, like, fall through with their word and just, like, be who they say they are. And most of the time, that is, just, like, far from the truth and people are just showing you a little bit of them when it's not really who they are um so i think that i like have a bad time at reading people now that doesn't mean okay well okay so that's more of like people when i get to know them i give them a, the benefit of the doubt now first interactions with people i can tell if you're like a decent person i don't know first interactions like i can tell like if I would fuck with you or not, I guess. I don't know, like, I feel like I can like tell, you know what, no. I don't fucking know. Actually, I think that I am very bad at reading people. I expect people to do the same as I do. I expect people to like keep their word and just be like a decent fucking person. And that is just like never the case and it fucks me over all the time. I'm just like a very generous person, person and I always give people the benefit of the doubt, benefit of the doubt. But there's one thing about me that I think everybody knows and it's I will not be taken advantage of. So I think a lot of people usually don't cross that boundary with me because um, I make that like pretty well known <laughs> when you meet me. Um, I will never be taken advantage of and I will never go above, me, above and beyond for someone that I feel is not reciprocating the same energy. It's just I give what I get. And I give a lot and when I realize so I don't know I feel like a lot of people hide themselves I feel like a lot of people are really fucking shady I feel like people I feel like people really just don't I feel like people really just aren't who they say they are which fucking sucks but like I trust people too much not in the sense of like you know I'll let you stay in my house and stuff like that but like trusting that like 
you're a decent person and you know if you say you're not gonna like fuck me over like then i believe it which bites me in the ass and honestly like i feel like just recently i've been taking myself back from that and just kind of like keeping my guard up because i have been taken advantage of like, so so often in my life by friends or guys or co-workers or just like anything and I feel like I just recently have been putting my guard up because I'm tired of it. Okay, so I'm just gonna answer a couple more of these questions. A lot of them like aren't coinciding. They're just questions that she had, which I love that she asked like a bunch of questions like this, but someone's, or she said, um, what's the sweetest thing a guy has done for you? <sighs> the list is very short. Let me just tell you that. Um, my expectations with guys are so fucking low. It's so sad. Well, they were, they're higher now. Honestly, you guys know, I was in, well, if you're new here, you don't know, but most of you guys know that I've been following me for a while, that I had like a whole relationship for like almost five years and it, I ended it. Um, that was mostly because there was no romance in it, no romance in it. So then I started talking to somebody else and then it was like the first time like a guy had ever like shown any type of romance, like actually like wanted to take me on a date and um, wanted to like give me a gift and take me to stuff like that. And I really thought, I was like, oh my God, this is like the sweetest thing a guy's ever done for me. What the fuck? I have never, you need to get down to, you just, you guys be in the way. Yeah, just like I was like, oh my god, I was so infatuated with it. And then I realized like this is not even special. This is just like bare minimum. Like this should, this should just be like normal. But the sweetest thing I think a guy has done for me is, I don't take this the wrong way, guys. I'm single. But I got into a car accident recently, like two months ago. And... I was supposed to go hang out with one of my friends and I couldn't and I just like, actually, you know what, actually I'm gonna say a couple of different things, material wise and just caring wise. So, sweetest thing a guy has done, actually I'll name a couple things from a couple different people. I got my boobs done and um, the guy that I was talking to like insisted on taking care of me and he was like waking up every like couple hours to give me my pain meds and like going to the kitchen and grabbing them and like bringing things up for me and just like taking care of me honestly and I really enjoyed that. My ex would have done that too but it was just cute because we weren't anything like serious and he like insisted it and I thought that was really cute and then I got into a car accident like two months ago and I was supposed to go hang out with my friend and I couldn't. I like told them, you know, like I just got into a car accident. I probably shouldn't be going out drinking alcohol. Like I probably should just stay in and like be like, you know, rest, like all of that. Um, and then like, but I was like, you know what? Like in a couple, honestly, it's like it's not horrible, but like I'm sure in a couple days, like I'll be fine if you want to reschedule for that. So we rescheduled, whatever. We went out uh, during the day, we were going to some concert and we were like meeting up in Rittenhouse Park, which is like in, uh, it's like a really nice park in Philadelphia. And I walk over and he was like, uh, did you, cause I valeted my car. He was like, did you um, already park your car? Cause I need to put something in your car. And I was like, okay. I was like, I already valeted my car, but like if, I was like, I can put it in my bag if you need me to hold it. Like, I I actually just, like, had no idea that it was for me because this has never happened to me. So, he was like, no, it's too big to put into your purse. So, I'm thinking, okay, like, maybe he just, like, picked up a package and didn't feel like dropping it off at home. And was just like, fuck it, I'll put it in her bag. I still didn't think anything was for me. Okay, I had to, like, move my camera a little bit because, um, my camera's charging. But anyway, so yeah, I went and I was gifted. I went 
to walk over to him because we were meeting on opposite sides of the park because he was coming from one way, I was coming from the other. And then I met up with him and I just saw him across the street with these huge ass flowers. I wanted to took them right here. They were so fucking beautiful. I've never seen flowers that big in my entire life. And he literally got them for me just because I was in a car. Hey. Makeup is all done. My bag is pretty much packed. I just have to grab my water and perfume. And I made a protein shake too. And I did the four scoops because it's only 500 calories. And I didn't eat like anything today. So I'm going to drink one of these protein shakes while I made it. And it actually tastes really good. I'm not gonna lie. Also, I'm obsessed with my hair. Like, it looks so good. Let me show you. It's fallen out a little bit because I took a nap and whatever. But it looks so good and natural, and I love the length. Like, I'm glad I didn't go any longer. Oh my god, if I went longer. I had extensions, and I had them down here, and it was way too long. And that was a mistake, so we're not making that mistake again. But I'm gonna pack my perfume. I'm bringing YSL Libre. And we're gonna go. So I made $22.60, which is so good because honestly, honestly, like, which is so good. I'm so happy with the amount that I made. I literally have not even been breaking like $500 at the club recently. This summer has been so dry. I'm sure all of my stripper girls can relate. It's just been such a dead summer. So it's a little depressing, but it's fine. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe. I don't post stripper videos all the time. They're very hit or miss. But if you guys want to follow me throughout my regular life and what I do when I'm not dancing, then definitely stick around. I am going to be doing a little bit more stripper vlogs just because I like haven't had time to really like do much of traveling or anything. And I just don't want my regular vlogs to just like become boring so you will see a couple more of these for me while I'm still in the game so if you guys want to keep around then definitely don't forget to subscribe once again thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy and I will see you guys in my next video <laughs>